after all, he will be killed. Right? Yeah. And David. And then he said, well, let's let, let's you, you are unskilled in war. Let's put some armor in you. So they take their iron shields and they put on David. <laughs> and David could barely walk. He said, no, 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 take these things off me. I cannot walk. I, I, I'm not experienced with this stuff. Take it off me. David knew the mountain before him. And he knew the only one who could take the way that mountain was Jehovah whom he trusted. Amen. He had a secret. And this secret, that's the secret that we, the children of God, should have. Our secret weapon. It's in the word of God. Amen. David went out and he used his mouth and he confessed the word of God. And he selected five stones. Hallelujah. Amen. And these five stones represented the word of God. And he went down. And we all know what happened. When he quoted the word of God and he put that sling, that stone on a sling. Even before that, Goliath looked at him, you little twerk. What are you coming to? I will give you to the fishes or to the. I will feed your your skin to the birds and all of that. He bragged about him, and David said, "You are coming to me with all of this stuff, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. Amen. I come to you in the name of the Lord. I'm going. You are my mountain, but I'm going to level you out." Amen. And he began to swing. Hallelujah! He began to swing. Tell the devil, I'm swinging right now. Tell the devil, I'm swinging my, I'm swinging my sling, and by the time I release this sling, my mountain will be flat before me. And that mountain, Goliath, is standing in front of David, and the whole Israel is watching. And David is swinging, and as each rabashanda rabasota rika shika ribasuku, they rabashan, and he goes alada rabashanda rabasoko na flam. Release the stone and the Bible tells us by the time he say it went right here. Yes. Jehovah, his word was guiding the stone. Yes. You know, yes. in physics the forces of nature they always fight against things that you shoot, right? You can think about the forces of nature, the gravity, the centrifugal, whatever what are the forces, the momentum Name them, those of you physics students. They're fighting inertia, whatever. They're all fighting against that stone. But the word of God is doing this. Directing it to the very spot that would take away the mountain that stands before him. And then he, as he released, that's, I don't know the distance, but scientists, maybe they can try and calculate the distance of the slingshot to the, and see how much force was there to knock off Goliath. But I know that the first word is the word of God. Amen. This word. Because David stood on the word of God and he said, "You, I'm coming to you in the name of Jehovah, my living God, my Savior. Let's stand. I want you to come like David this morning to your mountains. What are your mountains this morning? Any mountain that is standing before you, and it could be sickness, it could be, it could be just a financial need that you have. I don't even care what it is. You're going to speak to that situation this morning. Amen. And if you don't have a mountain before you, there's a relative of yours that has a mountain. So there is something connected to you. So don't tell me there's no mountain. There is a mountain this morning. You are dealing with a situation at work this morning. It could be your mountain. You are trying to figure out how you're going to face next year. You know, when we got up this year, we said, this is the time of restoration. 2019 is our restoration. We have been restored in several forms. The, 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 the world has been released unto us. And God only needed us to reach out and take what is ours. Remember the scripture that we gave to you at the beginning of the year. When God prophesied to all of you. 
that even though the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm has eaten, you are going to take it back. I don't know what your mountain is this morning. And perhaps that mountain has stopped you from taking back what is yours. I want to let you know you still have 16 more days. Or is it today is what? 15. So you have 16 more days. 16 more days. But it's only going to take you this one day to receive what is yours. Because you will speak to that mountain this morning in the name of Jesus. I want you to raise up your hand and speak to your mountain this morning. Speak to the mountain that you have this morning. Hallelujah. Prophesy to your mountain. Level it in the name of Jesus. Rebuke that mountain in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. God is giving you that authority in his word to speak to your mountain right now. And whatever you are prophesying, whatever you are receiving right now, it's coming to your spirit in the name of Jesus. And, you, and then in, just in case you think you cannot speak to your mountain, I want you to walk up here. We will speak to that mountain together. Come up and then we will speak to that mountain. Just because, you know, it, 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 it kind of connects our faith together. Hallelujah. Bring your mountain before the Lord this morning. It will be leveled. It will be plain before you. Hallelujah. I believe it and I receive it in the name of Jesus. Whatever the mountain, whatever the situation is, God is going to level it. Our God is able. He's able. See, he's able. He's able. He's able. Our God is able. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, my Lord and my God, you know, oh God. I don't know what mountain these are facing, oh God, but you know. King of glory, and for each mountain, oh God, that stands in front of your people, King of glory, you're releasing a word of faith into their spirit right now. Father, I pray that you release a word of faith into their spirit and speak and level that mountain right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, if there be a financial need right here, Lord, release it to them in the name of Jesus. A need for healing, Lord, release it in the name of Jesus. A need for papers, release it in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, that which you have given to us. And Father, there will be full restoration. Hallelujah, there will be full restoration. I release the spirit of restoration upon our people in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, Shanda Rabasola Reka Suta. Oh, Shenere Abosida. Roko Senere Soko Rubusi. Because you honored the word of the Lord this morning. Because you believe in the word that Jehovah sent forth this morning. Your mountains are leveled before you, O Zerubbabel. Your mountains shall become a plain before you. And you will walk over them victoriously. And you will pick up a tambourine and you will sing, There is no one like your Father in heaven. You will sing and you will rejoice because the Lord God has met you at the point of your need. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the congregation say amen. Glory be to God. Thank you.